Hello everyone, this is Colin once again. I'm making this video as a response to a user who has been making comments on my last video, which was a rebuttal to Venom Fang X. Um, I do not remember the user's exact name, but I'm sure he'll make himself known in the comments of this video. Um, to the user who's been commenting me trying to defend Sean and saying that I'm wrong with my assertion that the Bible does not actually teach anywhere that Satan was an angel, uh, specifically an archangel or some sort of high level of celestial being who led a rebelling against God and therefore was cursed by God. Um, so I made that video and I made this reference in that last video and this person made took an exception to my comment and started posting phrases and Bible verses and things like this. Uh, the one that really got me, though, was Ezekiel 28. Now, Ezekiel 28, specifically the verse in question, uh, is very interesting. See, the user tried to tell me that here it is plainly stated that Satan was a cherub. The, the term cherub is used in the reference. Uh, and therefore... Uh, he was cursed, and there it is for you in black and white right there, as plain as day. Now, of course, I'm not directly quoting the individual, but it's basically he asserted that this, if you look at this, these passages, without a shadow of a doubt, this cannot be referring to anybody else. There is no alternative, I believe is the phrase he used, alternatives. So, if you look at chapter 28, let's see here, verse 17. He was using the King James Version. Um, I'm using a more contemporary English version of the Bible, but it says, With the cherub I placed you, you were on the holy mountain of God, walking among the fiery stones. Blameless you were in your conduct from the day you were created until evil was found in you. The result of your far-flung trade, violence was your business, and you sin. Then I banned you from the mountain of God, the, the cherub drove you from among the fiery stones, etc., etc., etc. And I don't know if actually if the user posted all of that. That's um, Ezekiel 28, verses 14, 14 through uh, 16. And so he says that this is evidence that, because it mentions in the King James Version way of, of, of translating this passage, that, that the cherub was an anointed cherub, and that therefore he was essentially, he was good when he was created, and then he becomes bad later on and is cursed. And the user says this basically is the story of, of Satan rebelling against God and um, essentially uh, falling from grace. Now, the problem with that is I was interested that the user only quoted these few passages. If you actually go back to the beginning of chapter 28, the first verse of chapter 28 reads, Thus the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, and then it quotes uh, from verse from then on to, ch to verse ten. It's a reference to the king of Tyre, and in fact, it references to this individual who's being talked about is the king of Tyre, not Satan. Now, I have several Bibles here. Um, that have various commentaries. The first one I looked at, of course, was the Jewish Tanakh, because I figured I'd like to see what the Jews have to say about their own scripture. And lo and behold, that Bible's commentary says nothing about Satan being referenced in this passage at all. In fact, it is historically accurate that this is a reference to the downfall of the kingdom of Tyre and the fact that the king was rebelling and being a sinful individual, a greedy individual. I also have here, this is the one I just read from, was the Catholic Study Bible, this is a contemporary English version, and their commentary says nothing about Satan as well. I have a Learning Bible over there, that's also a contemporary English version, which is used by the, uh, which is published by the American Bible Association, and they say that historically, this passage uh, was believed by early Jews to be nothing more than a reference to the King of Tyre. Furthermore, the only Bible I have, which is the Ryrie Study Bible, which is, is King James Version, this is the only version of the Bible that I own, that the commentary says this might allude to someone other than the King of Tyre, namely Satan. Now, having established the fact that the majority of Bibles that I own do not say that it's Satan, 
but rather it's the king of Tyre. In fact, we can just ignore the Bible commentaries. Let's just ignore the Bible commentaries for now. If we use our logic while reading this, the entire passage of chapter 28, all of chapter 28, nowhere is mentioning Satan. All right? Now, even if you go back as far as chapter 26, it's God, through the prophet Ezekiel, condemning the whole kingdom of Tyre, and then specifically the king, uh, while he's living and then when he dies. Because if, if you continue and you look at uh, basically chapter, uh, or excuse me, 2011, it says, Thus the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, utter a lament over the king of Tyre. And most scholars agree that that means that chapter 20 is actually split in half. The beginning of it is when the king is still alive, in chapter in verse 11 and onward to the end of the chapter is referring to when the king is dead so in all actuality all the fire and brimstone and things like this are, are actually his punishment in the hereafter not uh that it's satan falling from grace now the user said that look he took exception to the term cherub he said look therefore it says that it's a cherub it's an angelic being that means it must be uh satan however if you go to blueletterbible.com which is a christian source by the way, the term cherub is, fo as, is as follows: angelic being, a guardian of the uh, uh, the guardians of Eden, flanking God's throne. They're the ones that hold up God's throne. The image hovering over the Ark of the Covenant, and they are living chariots of God. If we look at uh, Gessens's Lexington, it says cherub in the theology of the Hebrews, being a sublime. A celestial nature, a figure compounded of the following, a man, an ox, a lion, an eagle, three animals which together with man symbolize power and wisdom in Ezekiel's 1 and 10. They are first spoken as guardians of paradise, i.e. Eden in 324, afterwards bearing the throne of God upon their wings in 2 Samuel 22, 11, and he rode upon a cherub in Psalm 18, 11. He sits upon cherubs, and lastly, they are the wooden statues of cherubs overlaid with gold in the holy tabernacle, Exodus 25, 18. And the temple of Solomon, etc., etc., etc. Therefore, this is nowhere does it mention Satan being a cherub. In fact, cherubs, according to angelic theology, they are the lowest level of angelic figures. And last time I checked, according to um, Christian theology, uh, Satan was of the archangel level of angelic beings. And now the user has to choose. Is he nothing more than an insignificant cherub, which is basically a <clears throat> hybrid celestial being that's used for such tasks as letting God ride it around? Or was he uh, the highest level of angels like most Christians actually believe? You have to choose. You can have both. Now, what's interesting, though, is that if we go to the Wikipedia article, now granted I go to this lightly, I don't say that Wikipedia is actually uh, a, a very uh, great source, however, what's interesting is that it says, when it, when it talks about Christianity's view of Satan, it's, it talks about the rebellion and all that, but there are no biblical references given for any of it. In fact, if we start at the beginning of the Wikipedia article, it actually says that it was not until, according to the Jewish encyclopedia that it was not until the first century bc that the idea that satan was a fallen celestial entity in fact be because of the writings of the book of enoch like i said in my last video in fact it was not until the first century bc that there's any reference that satan is a fallen celestial being and so therefore uh, the wikipedia article also says according to its article that when christians try and figure out ways to allude to these out of context bible references being satan it is nothing more than bias inference with no true biblical references whatsoever so i hope this has clarified some things uh the fact that and the reason why i named the, the the video the way i did is because it talks about that this supposed character who's supposedly satan had a commerce and trade business that had to do with gems and he became greedy and that's why he fell from grace so i guess satan's business is with precious stones and commerce among the mediterranean or maybe it is just the king of tyre thank you for listening peace be with you all